been a lot of stuff reselling, so people are hungry right now, you know what I mean? Alright, yo, so I kind of woke up late today, and it's like almost 7 o'clock. So, I honestly do not know if I'm going to get a pair of Vast Grays today, but I know they got pushed back officially. But, um, I'm a little upset at myself. <clears throat> but let's see if I get a pair. Um, I know it's gonna probably be like 10 50 people there because people are hungry, it ain't been a lot of stuff reselling lately. So, I'm gonna let you guys know. But I'm on my way, keep you guys updated. Alright guys, so word just got out that they're going to be doing some dunks somewhere else. And I'm going to show you guys the line really quickly. All these chairs is empty right here. Even towards the front, all the chairs is empty. So, that's what I mean. Like, in Jersey, word gets out so quick that, you know what I mean, the line just, just breaks out. And when it breaks out... It's like nothing you can do. Like everybody just trying to scramble. Everybody just trying to go eat real fast. What's up everybody, Y Davis here, back with another review. So I'm showing you guys the Nike Dunk Low, Vast Gray. Now before I get into the video, I just wanna say thank you guys for all the support. Keep on liking, keep on subscribing, and it really motivates me to keep going when I see you guys liking my content. Also, it lets you know I'm in the right direction, showing you guys what you wanna see. If you're new to the channel, I just wanna say thank you and welcome. I drop a lot of dope content here, so consider subscribing. Also, there's a 4K video playing in the background of me, and you guys, when new videos coming ahead of time, you follow me on Instagram at Y Davis. But let's get right into it, guys. So yesterday, or technically this morning, we did finally reach 10,000 subscribers. Um, I still can't believe it right now. I'm still in disbelief. But um, this time last year, I didn't. I wasn't even monetized or had a thousand subscribers. So I just want to show you guys some proof here. August 31st is when I officially made the channel. And you know, I wasn't putting in no work. I didn't put in my first video until like October, I think it was. And then, you know, I didn't get any traction until all the way until April. And then I really just started going hard in like July. That's when uh, the, electric sis the electric green sixes came out. And then ever since then, I was just getting every release being outside for hours, sometimes not getting any shoes, and then just the consistency throughout, you know what I mean, the whole two years. So that's really what it's gonna take, you know, consistency. I started off bad, and then within like, you know, the first seven months, I wasn't getting any traction at all, and then it just started picking up from there. So, you know, I just want to say anybody in any life or any path you're doing right now in life, you know, not just YouTube, you know, just stay focused and just continue to put the work in. And, uh, you know, that's it. And I just want to say consistency is key. Now, when I first started off YouTube, I actually thought about quitting YouTube because I wasn't getting the results I wanted to see. But then I actually started like putting in the work, you know, started going outside, trying to get the item day of, started building up my account to win on raffles from Foot Locker and Champs and things like that. And I just stay consistent. And uh, at one point I was actually just hiding my subscribers because I just wanted to stay consistent. I wanted to stay locked in. I didn't want to keep looking at that. I just wanted to keep on putting out the work. Don't look at the views of the video. Just keep putting out the work, putting out the work. And it's finally starting to pay off. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys for sticking with me. Um, if you ever drop anything in the comments box below, that, that negative or positive, it helped me grow honestly because without you guys, I wouldn't even have that sizing portion in the video if it wasn't for somebody telling me that the shoe didn't fit me the way it should fit me. And uh, I just want to say thank you guys to everyone because you guys help me grow every day. All the positive and negative comments, you know, it really helps me. It uh, makes me help. It helps me uh, see what you guys want to see, you know, realism. And thank you guys. I, I just want to say thank you like from the bottom of my heart. And anybody that, um, you know, is having any difficulty right now, 
I just wanna say to you, like, just keep going. You know what I mean? I know you can't see where it's gonna go. I couldn't see myself being right here where I am now. And uh, I just wanna say, just keep going. You know what I mean? Just keep going. Um, don't worry about the background. Don't worry about the quality of the video. If you don't have, if you don't have the pieces, if you don't have the necessary needs to do what you gotta do, you know what I mean? Just do, make with what you have. That's what I'll say to that. Just make with what you have and just keep going. You know what I mean? If you're pushing out the right content and you're pushing out the right knowledge and you're pushing out truth, anybody's gonna rock with you. And I guarantee you that it might take a little bit more time than others. You know what I mean? Cause we all have to go through that building of, of you know, repetition. You know, everybody gets better with repetition. Everybody gets better, you know what I mean? With just doing it over and over and over. And I just wanna say thank you guys one more time for the bottom of my heart. Um, and yeah, guys, let's get right into the video. So um, here's the box right here, size nine. Okay, the retail on this was 110. Um, the current resale for the big size are going for like two something. And uh, the retail, the, the current resale on this size is going for about 150, 160, which is not that bad. Um, but it was just a movie today. Actually, my phone had actually died. If you guys watched the video earlier in the clip, my phone had died and uh, I couldn't get any of the like, you know, the madness that was happening. But um, let's get right into it, guys. So this was technically supposed to come out today, but they got pushed back. So um, the only place that I know was having them was Packer, as you guys see in the video. Um, but take out this very beautiful shoe right here and the quality on these is very nice You know what I mean? The name and the shoe did not lie when it said premium because the suede on this is on point We do get a stamp right there on the inside of the box right there um, On the inside we do get the sticker, the green sticker, regular tissue paper Okay, and uh, let's get right into the shoes guys The differences that I did notice about these shoes is that on the right shoe We get a different color scheme than the left shoe So on the right shoe, on the back panels of the shoe Alright, we get the purple and on the left shoe, we get like that gray, as you guys can see. So that's the differences about the two shoes. Even on the actual back of the shoe here, it's the same thing. I'll show you guys the bottom of the shoe. So on the bottom here, we get this like gray color, all right? Then we get that Nike swoosh in the middle, right there at the bottom. Towards the top of the shoes here, we get these not so detailed stars up there, but you know, it is a Nike Dunk, so we normally don't get those detailed stars. All right, coming towards the outsole of the shoe here on the outside, we get a white outsole with the gray creeping up from the bottom. Then we get that white stitching right there on both the outside and the inside of the sole. Coming up a little bit more, we get all this premium suede on here. Now, wherever you touch on the shoe, um, you know, it does have a little bit of pattern changes, but you know, since it is like a gray color and a pinkish color, we can't really tell because of the coloring. But uh, if you guys look right here on the main panel, we get like this pink color. Okay, show you guys that real quick. Very nice material on these. And you guys can look at that swoosh on the outside. The quality on these is A1, guys. I'm telling you right now, it's A1. Um, Moving a little bit further back by the ankles up here, we get some more of that pink, then moving back down. It's like a grayish color, in my opinion, on that back panel right there. Show you guys the inside right here. Same thing on the back panel, we get like that pinkish color. It's like a pinkish, peaches, faded out color. All right, and then moving towards the back here, we get some more gray. And then at the top by the ankles, we get some more of that peaches, pinkish color up there. Okay, we also get that Nike swoosh and that hairy gray suede. All right, moving towards the front of the shoe here on the toe box here. These will crease up pretty easily because of the material on these, but um, you just put some wearable shoe trees in these and you should be fine. All right, but the suede and material on these is A1, I gotta tell you guys. If you guys are thinking about getting these, grab them ASAP. Um, coming towards the mud guard here, we get this gray around the mud guard, as you guys can see. That also has the pattern changing when you move your hand on it. So we get some really good material on these shoes. Coming down a little bit lower than that, we get some of the white stitching in front of that. And then we get the gray creeping up from the bottom. You can see the detail of stars a little bit. They're not that detailed, but you can still see them. On the lace panels here, we get some more of that purplish color up here, like a faded purple, as you guys can see. All right, now with the laces on these, they come in like a grayish faded type of laces, um, like a silver kind of, like a, you know, like a very like faded like silver. So that's what I want to call it. And uh, at the bottom of the tongue here, we get a little bit of pink. Um, it really just depends on where you look at the shoe because like when you when you start to tilt the shoe around they all start to like the colors mixed together tongue here we get like this aged out tongue it's like kind of yellowed and like beige -ish. it's like a kind of yellow beige color on the faded out tongue in the middle of the tongue here we get like a peaches color holding down the laces right there and then at the top it says nike with a swoosh under it um on the back of the tongue this is what it looks like and the outline of the top of the tongue is in like a purple all right coming towards the inside of the shoe here we do get some tissue inserts and uh if you guys look at the inside of the shoe it's like a silverish color if you guys look at that on the inside of the shoe it's like a silverish color 
um, on the insole of the shoe, it says Nike and the swoosh under it in white. All right, and our actual insole is gray. Okay, um, the production date I noticed with Nike is very different from Adidas. If you guys watched my last video, I was telling you guys that Adidas was making the shoes four months out, even like on the shoes they made prior. And with Nike, you know what I mean? Since they're well more structured, uh, they production date on these is way different. This was production almost a year ago. This one was production from uh, August until February. So very different production dates from Nike and Adidas. But, you know, Adidas isn't really, you know, used to this. So, you know, I can understand why they try to make things as quick as possible and get it out the door because they actually don't know how the future is going to be, in my opinion. Back of the shoes here, it says Nike up there in white stitching. And the background of that is in that gray leather. You guys can see that. Under that, we get a little bit more of that peaches pinkish color. Okay. And then all the way towards the bottom, we get some more of that purplish faded out color if you guys look at that okay guys so this is what they look like on feet pretty clean in my opinion i'm a true size nine normally get nine and a half in all my shoes except for like nike dunk lows um air force one lows and air jordan one lows i feel like those run a little bit big so i do try to go true to size and i was able to go true to size on them today now um when i stick my foot out the back here it does come out but not really easily you know what i mean like i have to like really try and this is how i normally like to wear my shoes unlaced um on the laced up pair i can't do it at all as you guys can see and it's not even really laced up but um i'm gonna show you guys my foot is in the toe box here so i have a lot of room in here as you guys can see um true to size is definitely fine uh push my hand down on these and my big toe is right here so i do have a little bit of space in there as you can see so um you know, true to size is the way to go on these. I'm pushing my feet all the way up so you guys can see like the space in the back. You can't really see that much, but you know, true to size is the way to go. I can stick at least one finger in there easily. Um, but other than that, this is how they fit. You know what I'm saying? Um, once again, try to get some wearable shoe trees in these if you want to keep them looking nice at all times. But I'm gonna show you guys with these like some different pants options right now.